What's going on everybody? Today's video, I'm over here in the passenger seat. Jason, my trainee's over here driving. He's doing an awesome job, y'all. This is his, he's going on his third week. He's almost done training. But in this video, we're gonna talk about something that is, um, I get a lot of questions about it. And that is, what's the difference of an automatic transmission and the 10 speed? Let's dive deep into what are the advantages and disadvantages of an automatic. But first, before we get into it, hit that like button if you get any value from this and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna teach you things the CDL School will not teach you. And also discuss subjects that need to be talked about. So I hear it all the time. I don't want an automatic. Or I don't want a stick shift. Stick shifts are better. Automatics are better. Automatics are bad. Stick shifts are bad. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go into it. I did a little research and then from my own personal opinion, I drove manuals most of my life. And for the past couple years, I've been driving automatic. So I'm gonna give you some experience that I have um, with this. Uh, so, you know, when you go in to get your CDL, the first thing that happens is, and I don't know if it happened with you, did you get a restriction on your license? No, I, I, trained, but did, I trained on stick. But did they offer you that or is that your school just mainly did manual? No, no, they offered me just automatic. Is it is it cheaper at school to get that? The, there's no prizes, it's easier to get done. Okay, so you've got restriction. Now they have restrictions for you. If you train an automatic, you're gonna get a restriction on your license. Automatic. Is that, first off, is that gonna hurt you in the long run? I don't think so, because most companies are going with automatics. Now, by having a, 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 a not having a restriction, it does allow you to be more versatile. You could probably get more job offers. If your truck breaks down, you, you get another truck if they have a 10 speed, but eventually, I said eventually it's not going to matter as much because mostly everybody's going automatic but <laughs> let's talk about the advantages of an automatic and then we'll talk about the disadvantages all right so the advantage of an automatic the number one advantage of having an automatic is pretty much driver comfort uh, it's easy to drive you don't have to be paying attention to change the high. I mean, how do you feel this is third week driving but how do you feel about the automatic so far any day of the week just for the situation we're in right at this very moment and that is traffic you don't have to wear your knee out uh driving uh, you know messing with the clutch so we're in traffic right now as y'all can see boom uh and he's not having to worry about it so driver comfort would be the the, the number one re the number one advantage of it just the overall comfort of it not having to um worry about having to learn how to change gears and in different situations you can focus on the task at hand that would be the first thing um, the second advantage of an automatic is uh, going to be fuel efficiency they, they are the automatics are designed to get the best fuel mileage it changes right when it's supposed to change and it can help the company save money and if the company's saving money you're going to make more money to get you should you know you far as getting raises or if you're an owner operator you're saving your money so i would say fuel efficiency jason is another good um advantage of it uh the third thing i would say would be safety i believe it's safe to drive an automatic a lot of people may disagree with me on that but you're not having all the distractions i mean you know making a bologna sandwich and picking your nose with your toes and having to change gears i mean that's a little hard to do you know what i'm saying so at least you just pick your nose and your toes. And, uh, you can shift gears as you swing off. your foot up to pick your nose. Well, yeah, that's true. I, disclaimer, I, I don't suggest picking your nose with your toes or making a bloody sandwich while you drive. But the point is, it's less distractions you have to worry about. You can just concentrate on driving. So I say that's the, that's a good safety. Clutch, uh, clutches are heavy in these trucks anyways. And if you get stuck in a traffic jam like this, you're having to push that clutch in or hold it in. You're going to wear your knee out. You're going, your whole leg's going to be sore. The I agree. Day. I agree. So drop driver comfort. Also the maintenance. I would say maintenance is better because you're not, uh, you're not having to worry about drivers not changing properly, tearing up the clutches, stripping out the gears, wearing out the transmission. So I would say, I would say maintenance. And let me know in the comments what you think about this. This is just my uh, research that I've done and the study that I have on it. Let's talk about the disadvantages okay because there's disadvantages too <laughs> disadvantage would be uh, the higher cost uh, for a company to swap from manual to automatics they are more expensive um, and eventually they'll get cheaper but right now they are more expensive it's cheaper to buy a manual so I would say the initial cost would probably be a, a good thing a good 
um, disadvantage to the automatic. This would be advantage to the, you know having the um, the manual. Um, also, disadvantage of the automatic is uh, at the same kind of time maintenance might be cheaper, but the repairs are going to be costly when they do mess up. You have a lot more sensors, a lot more. Uh, you have specialty people that can only work on it. It's not like old school. You're going to have certain uh, mechanic shops only that can work on it. There are a lot of computerized, so costly repairs. That would be a disadvantage of having automatic. Um, just having all the electronics uh, and things like that. Um, and also uh, driver control. A lot of people say that driver control in certain weather conditions, you as a human maybe have better control shifting gears, getting up the mounting, or having to slow down in certain weather conditions and want to put it in lower gear that maybe the computer don't. That's what I've got back with feedback. But overall, I think as technology grows, automatics are going to be better. I am pro automatic. Uh, the Jake brakes are great. So people say, well, how can you go down a mountain, Sean? You know, you don't put it in the right gear. So far, these trucks, and I haven't had a problem with it, they're getting the right gear, the Jake brakes on, they hold, don't they? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've, I've took an automatic down the Rockies, I've took it down Monte, I've took it down all kinds of different places, and they're holding. So, that's my personal opinion. Um, Trucking Life with Sean fans, let me know in the comments what your opinion is. There's no wrong or right. Some people prefer Peterbilt, some of your national, some people drive, you know, Max. There's different opinions, Ford, Chevy. I'm not saying there's no wrong answer. I just might put my opinions of advantage and disadvantages of an automatic. Uh, so let me know in the comments below. Appreciate all y'all. If you want to support the channel, check out the link below. Uh, I appreciate all y'all. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like button, this trigger line for Sean. Let's get it.